my main person, the main person and all of that, definitely my beautiful fiance. And the rest, I trust y'all too. But one thing that life has taught me throughout the years, that God will place people in our life and take certain people out that we don't need. And I've realized that. People that I once called my closest friends throughout my life. So, I'm going to talk about the the story. It kind of popped up. I was just kind of reading a little bit. There's not a lot of details in it. But definitely, really disturbing. Probably seems very creepy that I'm in a corner recording this. But nonetheless, here's what. So, here's the story. Long Island girl goes on a cross-country um, trip with boyfriend. She ends up missing. She don't come back. The boyfriend goes back home, I think, in, in Florida, hires a lawyer, and refuses to, like, cooperate with the police or the FBI. See, now the family's got the FBI involved. See, this is all, like, just trying to point out, I'm just trying to play devil's advocate, I guess. If the dude is innocent and stuff if he was I don't think he is at all but if he was innocent I think by getting a lawyer not cooperating all these different things definitely paints you guilty whether you are or not right there just as like hmm this is sketchy dude hired a lawyer refuses to talk refuses to cooperate and we're left with a mystery Trying to find the woman's body, trying to figure out what's happening. See, everything that this dude is doing screams guilty. It screams that he has something to do with it. I mean, there's like a very, very, very small chance that he's just so scared and shocked that he really doesn't even know himself. I don't know. But I believe that this dude has something to do with it. And see, this is like the nightmare, right? This is the nightmare that a lot of people... You know, you read these stories, you watch these shows, you hear these stories where, you know, you know, you go on a trip, you do these different things, and then the woman ends up missing. The guy just goes merry way, whatever it is. And that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare that a lot of us, you know, probably wake up in the middle of the night with. You know, this is a fear that probably a lot of us have had. And you're probably like, man, I thought this is a motivational channel. I thought this is a motivational, like, YouTube channel, podcast, everything like that. It is. It is. Don't, don't, don't cut me off yet. I'm getting there. See, she trusted somebody wholeheartedly on this cross-country trip. Whatever happened... She did not expect this. Everyone's worst nightmare came true for this woman. And I understand parents, family, very distraught, trying to find answers. They lost somebody. They lost somebody important in their life. Somebody that should not have had to face this, right? And it's sad because here we are seeing something like this happen and I I'm puzzled by it I'm puzzled by it because I feel like this happens very often so you're probably like bro what's the point <laughs> are you just talk, rambling on no <laughs> I'm not rambling on but all I'm saying is Sometimes you could put your trust in a person. Maybe you think that you know the person. Maybe you think you know the person. And you may get let down. 
Maybe it's a minor thing. Maybe it's a small thing. Maybe it's something detrimental, something deadly like this. Something that just destroys your whole life. So what I'm saying is, evaluate who's in your life. Evaluate who's in your circle. Right? Who's those people that's in your circle? Who's the people that you trust the most? And could you truly trust them? Me, the people that are in my life, very, very few. But I know that the people I have in my life, I can trust wholeheartedly. Put my my life in their hands and I, I know I'll be okay. That main person, the main person and all that, definitely my beautiful fiance. And the rest, I trust y'all too. But one thing that life has taught me throughout the years, that God will place people in our life and take certain people out that we don't need. And I've realized that. People that I once called my closest friends throughout my life don't like me no more. They hate me. You know, some of them at points in my life wanted to fight me and wanted to beat me up. Some people in my past want me dead. You know, some probably wish they never met me. That's fine. That's fine. We all live this life. We all make our mistakes. That's totally fine. But what I'm getting at with all this is you got to evaluate. Because you never know when things are going to hit the fan. When the crap's going to hit the fan. You never know. So what I'm saying is, do you have the right people in your life that when it does, you know you'll be okay? I'm going to leave it with that. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you so much, more than you ever know. So, Crayon Rocket, our motto is be unique, be creative, be you. Why is this important? Because we were all created in the image of God. We were all perfectly and wonderfully made. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Share it, like it, subscribe. I would appreciate it. God bless.